What's going on guys? Wanamess here, back with a new Raid Shadow Legends video. So today I kind of want to jumpstart a new video series in relation to gear cleansing, specifically artifact cleansing. So the video that I already did with accessories, um, they're, they're pretty self-contained. They just kind of, you get what you get from Spider. What I laid out in the video is pretty straightforward. Meanwhile, artifacts, we have so many different sets, so many different main stats, flat stat percentage rolls there's so much that more that we can talk about with an artifacts uh sort of guide that i felt like it's definitely the right idea to break it up into multiple videos so today what i'm going to talk about is what i like to call a pre-cleanse gear check so what this is is this is what i do every single time i do a gear cleanse whenever i log on to an account for the first time um or even the second or third time maybe a couple months later before I do any gear cleansing, I want to sort of take a overview or take a, a generic look at the account's gear um, for specific areas or like specific main stats, etc., substats, and try to get a feel for what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses, and then sort of gear my gear cleansing with that in mind, right? So if, if for example, if one, one type of item we have a lot of and they're really strong, we can be a little bit tougher on cleansing the weaker ones. If there's a weaker item where we don't have a lot of them, we go a little bit easier on them, so on and so forth, right? So let's, let's I'm gonna use my own account as a sort of, as an example here, and let me talk about what I look for. So the first thing that I check for is, does the account have Lydia or not? So obviously I do have Lydia on my account. The idea behind pre and post Lydia is that Faction Wars is, I'm not gonna say it's easy content, right? Cause it is difficult to get up to and complete every single faction, 21, three stars. You need a lot of champions, right? You need a lot of champions. You need a lot of gear, a lot of uh, resources invested, right? But the idea behind it is that in terms of the actual quality of gear that it requires, it's not super high, right? If you have six or excuse me, five good champions that are leveled up six star 60, if they're booked, uh, they don't probably need full masteries. But what I'm saying is if you invest in the champions, if you have good champions, the gear that you need to complete 21 faction wars three stars is really not that high so pre lydia i go a lot easier on certain types of gear in good sets versus post lydia i will be a lot tougher on what i consider to be subpar gear that just happens to be in a good set if that makes sense so this series is going to be focused on post Lydia gear cleansing in its entirety. If you are somebody looking for gearing, uh, gear cleansing tips pre Lydia, I would just say, be careful. You don't want to cleanse your gear too hard. If you don't have Lydia yet, like I said before, there are a lot of factions. Um, you need five champions for each one geared in at least moderate gear to complete it. So usually I don't suggest people try to cleanse too hard before they get Lydia, but realistically you're gonna you're gonna max out on your gear. So you have to do some kind of selling. Okay, so using my own account as an example here, let's jump right into it and let me talk you through kind of what I'm looking for on a pre-cleanse gear check. So what I start with is the gloves. I always start with the bottom row. Um, it's not for any particular reason. I just do bottom row and then I look at the top row. So thankfully, Plarium added this gear filtration system a while ago. Um, before this was added, gear cleansing was kind of a nightmare. I still did it back then, but I'm very, very thankful for the filter system. So what I like to do first is I like to start with gloves. And the first thing that I'm gonna look at is crit damage gloves. And I'm gonna filter by equipped. So what I'm primarily looking for here is number one, the number of gloves on an account, right? And then number two, sort of, I'm going to, I'm going to scroll through and look at just sort of the overall quality of that. Now I'm not going to click on every single glove, but what I'm primarily looking for here is sort of the number of six star gloves compared to five star gloves. Now, the importance here is that six star crit damage gloves, they are 15% more crit damage. And then they are also, of course, the base stats roll higher because five star versus six star. So it's actually really important if you are mid game, pushing into late game, late game, end game, however you classify your account. It's, 
you should be trying to transition into six star crit damage gloves as soon as you possibly can. So what I'm looking for is um, the, the number, the quality, and then I kind of like to stop in certain damage dealer sets, primarily Savage, and take a closer look at them. So what I'm primarily looking for on crit damage gloves is going to be crit rate, speed, and then a main stat percentage, attack, defense, or health percentage. Those are the primary things that I'm looking for. Accuracy and resistance um, are less important. Accuracy is probably a little bit better than resistance overall, but resistance can possibly have its use. So if I'm looking at an, at the gloves here, and I go especially easy on Savage gloves, but what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of six star gloves. Obviously this is my account. Somebody else might not have quite this many. Um, and I'm seeing a pretty good mix of, we had some speed and health stat. We have some crit stat and speed. We have some just health, some just attack. We have some attack with accuracy. We just, we have a good mixture of gloves, especially in Savage here. And as I'm kind of scrolling further down, I haven't really talked about broken sets yet, but the sets that I consider to be broken, AKA just looking for damage dealer stats, you should have significantly less of them than other good sets, sets like Savage or Cruel, something like that. Well, Cruel is hard to get with Clan Boss, but Speed, Swift Parry, Perception, etc. right? So looking at this, um, I see obviously this account has quite a few six star gloves. Um, most of them are epic or better. So cleansing this account, I would go pretty dang hard on um, the crit damage gloves, while I'm, especially in broken sets. So next up is I like to go and look at health and defense percentage gloves kind of as a combination. So I'm not going to look super closely at these like I did with the crit damage and look for actual stats. But the idea is that you want a good number of health and defense percentage gloves in good sets. So speed is a particularly good set. Obviously, it's a good support set. Um, so we have a good chunk here in speed. Not too many in crit damage. This is actually, I don't know why I have this probably should be sold uh, a couple in accuracy from back in the day, dragon farming, not too many again, in what I consider to be kind of the broken sets, um, some in immunity, some in shield, some in stun is all good. A good chunk in immortal is good to see mostly six star as well. Um, Swift parry resilience and perception are also good sets for these types of gloves. And obviously the new sets protection and stone skin, we're kind of not sure what to do with the, or what, what the best thing to do with those is yet. So um, I wouldn't look at stats too specifically, but I can see here we have uh, over a hundred pieces. Most of them are in what I consider to be good sets. So I would know that the coverage is pretty good. And that if I see gloves that aren't being worn while I'm gear cleansing, I should be fairly tough on them, but, uh, just keep in mind like the stats that we're looking for. So up next is I jump to chess pieces looking at health and defense percentage. So the reason why I don't really look at attack percentage gloves, I don't really look at crit rate, um, and I don't specifically look for flat stat. Um, attack percentage gloves should be fairly few and far between for what you keep on your account. Um, obviously with stone skin coming in, bombs are kind of coming back into the meta a little bit. Um, so attack percentage gloves are finding more use but overall, I only keep like extremely good ones. So I don't, on the average account, I don't really filter by them to look at what the account has. And as for crit rate, I feel like, especially post Lydia, most accounts shouldn't have like tons and tons of crit rate gloves laying around, right? They're usually something that you use pretty heavily in the early game to crit cap your champions. And then in the late game, they still have their use, but they kind of, they fall off a little bit in terms of usability. There's a couple of niche champions that you might put in crit rate. Otherwise, it's kind of something that is, if you, if it's like easier content, like maybe um, like, the lower levels of Hydra or something like that. You might just be able to just crit cap somebody because you don't need the raw stats of a health or defense percentage glove. So that's why I move on to chess pieces and I'm kind of doing the same thing here, right? I'm looking for health and defense percentage and similar to gloves, I'm just kind of looking to get a feel for how many do we have? Are they in good sets? Um, and like, what is the six star to five star ratio, right? So good chunk and speed is good. Um, crit damage. So with chess pieces in comparison to gloves in terms of health and defense percentage, 
There's no crit damage equivalent in a chess piece. So in terms of people being built for damage, chess pieces are always going to be percentages are best, right? So in terms of damage dealer sets or just overall usability, you should have more health and defense percentage chests than gloves, most likely, which we see here. I have 136 compared to just a little bit over 100 in terms of the gloves. So good chunk in speed, good chunk in crit damage, accuracy from, again, leftover from dragon farming. Um, not too many in these sort of broken sets. Good chunk in regeneration is good. Immunity. I, I love shield set gear, so I have a lot in shield. Relentless. Um, you can take a peek, kind of the same thing here. You can take a look in Savage. So good crit stats here. Um, speed crit damage is okay. Crit speed is good. Triple crit rate crit damage. That's pretty good for a five star. Um, good chunk in Immortal. Swift parry. Deflect. Like all these sets that are good for health and or defense percentage. You should have like, or you would want a good chunk of them. So, and now what I like to do is I like to filter it down just a little bit more. And because... Like I said, damage dealer chess pieces are always going to, are almost always going to be percentages. So the kind of, depending on what level of account that you're looking at, um, you might need to filter less intensively than this. But what I look to, what I'd like to look for in any damage dealer chess piece is speed, crit rate, and crit damage. This is kind of the ideal substat combination for a percentage chess piece for a damage dealer. And then ideally we want it in a good set. So we can see here, um, especially, and also especially six star pieces, right? So we have a really good crit damage defense percentage chest here, query crit damage speed. We have a pretty solid six star blue here in a good set, good rolls. A five star legendary that high rolled is good in, in crit damage, right? Kind of uh, look through the broken a little bit. So we don't have any in savage, unfortunately, with all three substats. And you can see this is, this is my account filtering for health and defense. And I only have 17 and, um, I, well, I guess I was going to say most of them aren't, most of them are six star, but we have a couple five star hanging out. Um, so what I would see here is that uh, I have a lot of versatility with chess pieces in terms of health and defense percentage looking for crit stats. So now for chess pieces, I like to move on to attack percentage. So filter out, get rid of that health and defense. Now we're looking strictly for attack. Now attack percentage chess pieces are where we get um, a little bit more picky, right? Health and defense percentage, you can make a lot of different substat combinations work. Attack percentage, we are primarily looking for speed, crit rate, and crit damage, right? This filter right here. At the same time though, it's pretty tough since that's the only real substat common, that's like the ideal, the ultimate substat combo. It's pretty tough to, to get specifically that on chess pieces, right? So I have I have 13 for attack, and that's me going a little bit easy on attack chests overall because I know how valuable they are. So I'm looking kind of through here. I have a couple in Savage. I have a couple in Immunity, which is good. I have a couple Broken and then one in Untouchable. So overall, not a, not a ton just for strictly attack. So for most accounts, I would probably look through it without that filter on and take a look at the the sets that are particularly good for attack based damage dealers right so crit damage is really good so we have a double crit here triple speed crit rate we have double crit damage speed we have crit crit and then this is a five star crit rate and speed i don't pay super close attention to ac uh, accuracy or the sort of broken sets immunity is obviously good for nukers crit crit speed crit crit speed crit crit again savage is a big time set for attack based damage dealers we have a crit crit speed we have another crit crit speed unfortunately those didn't roll super well we have a double speed double crit damage speed and crit so what i'm seeing so far is at least on my account is a pretty good spread of attack chests uh, quite a few good ones in savage which is the ideal set we have a couple good ones in cruel but again it's hard to control what you get from clan boss um, Swift parry is all right. Perception is okay. Untouchable is good. So overall, I would say this account has fairly above average attack chests. And so if I was, if I found any that weren't being worn when I was cleansing, I would be pretty tough on them. So now last up for the chess pieces that I search for are accuracy chess pieces. So what I'm primarily looking for here is accuracy chests in a couple of specific sets, speed set, accuracy set, uh, both immunity sets, and then perception. Those are the kind of the best sets for them in my opinion. And usually similar to banners, what I'm looking for is primarily speed. So we have a good chunk of six stars here in the speed set. They are all double speed rolls. We have a couple in accuracy. 
speed attack, speed health. We have summon immunity. These are all, we have one five star. Okay, with triple speed 19, so not too bad. Um, scrolling down to perception here, we have a wide variety here. We have uh, a couple double speeds, others with good health percentage or resistance. And then it looks like I actually don't have any in the untouchable. So in terms of those, that was quite a few six stars with a pretty good mix of substats. So I'd say pretty good accuracy chests and I'd be pretty tough on any ones that I saw in like broken sets. So moving on to boots. So what I'm looking for here is, and again, I don't really look at, obviously I don't look at flat stat chest pieces and I don't really look at resistance too much. Um, resistance chests, now with Hydra, they are getting used more and more, but um, they're still pretty niche in terms of their overall usage. So most accounts don't have a ton of them. So when I'm looking to actually cleanse them, I kind of already know what I'm looking for. And even if the account doesn't have super good resistance chest pieces, I wouldn't keep like a below average one in a bad set just to have one versus other pieces we might hold on to something like that. So the first thing that I look for in speed boots to kind of keep in line with the rest of the gear is I look for health and defense percentage. Now, most accounts shouldn't have too many boots like this. They don't get used a ton. They were a lot more popular back before we knew all about unkillable clan boss teams and stuff like that because you wanted to really beef up your survivability so you can actually live in clan boss. But nowadays they've fallen off a little bit, um, but obviously they are still ideal for health and defense nukers or um, somebody that you don't need to run extremely fast in a PVE content, you could run them in a boot like this. So I'm just looking to see, again, similar to kind of chess pieces and gloves, just trying to get a general feel for them on the account, seeing if we have enough pairs in good sets. So like a good chunk in speed, accuracy is fine. Um, not too many in the sort of broken sets. Again, I love shield set gear, so I have a lot of them here. Um, Immortal is a really good set for these. Swift Parry is a good set, Deflection, Resilience, kind of like this whole chunk down here where the sets work well with health and defense percentage. The account should have an okay amount of them in there. Uh, Guardian, Stones, Get Protect, etc. cetera, right? Um, now, similar to chess pieces, like I talked about, right? Boots don't have like a crit damage glove equivalent. So what I like to do is I like to look at kind of the speed, crit rate, and crit damage like really super filtering it down to see what we have. So and you'll see on my account, I only have 10 between health and defense percentage. So I have one in speed set, that's an okay set. I have a five star in cruel, which is okay. Divine, swift, so I actually, I don't have, in terms of this very specific filter, I don't have too many of them. So if I wanted to get a better look on account, like if you filter by this and the account has like one or two, that's not gonna tell you much. So if you take off the crit damage filter, all of a sudden 27, that's a lot more flexible, right? So speed and crit rate. Now, not that crit damage is a bad set, but usually in terms of overall flexibility, speed and crit rate are gonna be a little bit better for you. Because obviously, if you're building a damage dealer, you wanna crit cap them. And then usually you have a specific speed that you're looking to hit. So these two are the more flexible stats. So if you need to kind of back off on the filter a little bit, try to go down to speed and crit rate. And now we see, an extra one in speed set. I thought I had some in Savage, but apparently not. Uh, just overall, a couple more options. So, but again, um, from what I'm seeing here, actually, I don't have too many. So I would maybe go a little bit easier on health and defense percentage boots in good sets with crit stats on them, right? So after that, I like to do health percentage, kind of keeping it the same with chest pieces. Now, attack percentage boots, in my opinion, are a lot more usable than health and defense percentage. We build a lot more nukers with... Uh, or like we build a lot more attack based nukers and usually you want to do attack percentage boots if you can. So kind of what I'm looking for here is again, that speed, crit rate, crit damage, um, depending on the, and once again, so I had 10 with health and defense combined. Now with just attack percentage, I have 10 by themselves. So you see, I have a good broken one in a life set. I have Fury Frenzy. I've got two in immunity with crit rate, crit damage, speed, crit rate, crit damage, speed. I have only one in Savage, unfortunately, one in Cruel with sort of perfect. And as, so as you can see, like it's pretty tough to get perfect substat boots in good sets. So I would probably back this off here. And then similar to what we did with chess pieces, just go and look in the good sets to kind of see what's going on. So speed is an okay set. I have an unrolled speed and crit rate here. 
Uh, double crit stats with flat attack is really good. Crit damage is a good set. Crit rate, crit damage, flat attack. That's a random, that's an old piece from uh, back when we used to stack gear for player power. Let's see. So we've got a good chunk in immunity. I already saw some of those before. Speed, crit damage, flat attack. Another speed and crit rate here. Um, I, and so now all of a sudden we have a couple in Savage here, right? Triple crit damage, speed is good. Double speed crit damage. We have um, just crit rate and crit damage is good on these boots. We've got a cruel boot, double speed crit. So like kind of backing off that filter. So what I would see here is since we're primarily looking for crit stats, speed, and maybe flat attack, but that's kind of like the, the fourth option. Um, in terms of good sets, overall usability, I have, a, I have good flexibility on my account, right? So I would say I can be pretty tough on attack boots if I'm looking at those when I cleanse. So after attack percentage, I move on to speed. So the first thing that I look for with speed boots is just kind of a general feel of speed boots, primarily in speed set, right? That's kind of like the most used speed boot that somebody is going to use. And what I kind of look for is how many six star speed boots does an account have? So we have 6, 12, 18, 21. 21 is a lot of six star speed boots. I have a couple that aren't even being worn. So what I, that tells me is if I see like some five star boots, so most of mine are being, or I think that's all of my five, five star boots, oh, other than one, five star speed boots, you can, I could be pretty tough on them. If you were on account on an account that has, let's say maybe five or less, you would possibly go a little bit easier on five-star speed boots. That's kind of just the first thing that I look for. So now the follow-up is speed boots with crit rate and crit damage. So these are, these types of boots used to be used a lot more back in arena, like pre Swift Parry, pre reaction gear, stuff like that. Back when we used to try and speed tune our nukers. Um, nowadays they're used less, but they're still really important for sort of PVE content, right? see your clan boss for unkillable you, re you really want speed boots on people uh dungeon like just overall dungeon builds if you need somebody faster to still do damage speed with crit stats is really important right so this is kind of what i'm looking for is crit rate crit damage and then if there is a main stat percentage afterwards that is also helpful but i just want to look for boots in good sets or ideally in good sets so speed is a good set we have like crit rate crit damage is good oh i mean i'm filtering by that but like the rolls right Two to crit rate, one into crit damage, one and two, uh, triple crit rate, crit damage, double crit rate, crit damage. Like, so I have a good, a good flexibility here. Um, another important set to try to have it in is immunity. Again, more so for like PVE builds nowadays, triple crit rate here. Uh, we have, this one's not very good. We have a crit, double crit damage, but with a, a percentage on the end. And then really important is Savage, right? So crit rate, double crit damage. Unfortunately, I just, I don't have very good speed boots with crit stats and Savage. I just haven't been very lucky. Double crit rate, crit damage, um, double crit rate, crit damage. So these are for like, I, I mean, like they're wearing it here. Royal Guard, Cold Heart, possibly Seer. She was wearing crit damage set boots. Um, other types of PVE champions that you want them doing damage, but you still need good speed on them. Uh, moving down, like perception can be good. Untouchable can still work for like immunity uh, dungeon builds, like we like I talked about. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's most of it. And then last for boots is what I look for is accuracy. So similar to accuracy chests, I'm looking for speed boots that have accuracy in the same sets, right? Speed, accuracy, both immunity sets, and perception. Those are kind of the ideal sets for it. And what I'm looking for here is just flexibility of speed boots with accuracy. So I'm looking for double or potentially triple or quad roll accuracy on ideally six star speed boots and then sort of gauging how strong or how weak the account is in terms of that. So I have one roll here with flat. I have one with crit. I have zero rolls into it. I have zero rolls. Okay, solid double here, 34. Double here again with okay stats, none. Okay, so speed boots, pretty good, pretty good spread. Accuracy, I have a one with good stats. I have a double here on a six star is good. Double, but it's low roll, right? Um, another really good double here and then a sing. Okay, so accuracy set is pretty good. Um, immunity, we have a, a zero, we have a double, we have a single, single, double. Okay, so again, good flexibility, no triples unfortunately, but and then looking in perception and untouchable, 
We have a single roll, a double with a good glyph, a single, a, uh, a single here, single, and then um, zero, and then another double. Okay, so no triples again, but good flexibility with doubles. And then untouchable is zero, 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 and a so I at least I have a double in untouchable, but overall quite a bit less because obviously the other sets we get more of, or at least I farmed more of. So in terms of those sets, I would feel like those are pretty good. Um, so if I saw like weaker versions of those boots in those sets, I would be pretty tough on them. Um, I just realized a quick shout out to like divine speed for accuracy chess and for boots. Um, I don't talk about it too much because usually the average account doesn't get a lot of divine speed gear. So, um, it, it would, you would be looking for the same stats as you would in speed set. So one roll, one roll, zero, uh, zero and one roll. So nothing amazing in divine speed. And that's, that's on my account. And I've bought my fair share of divine speed packs. So the average account will probably have even less than that, but so that's kind of it for bottom row gear that for what I'm checking, right? So now it's on to the top row gear and the top row gear filter is pretty simple, right? This, I'm just trying to get a feel for damage stat top row gear. Now, the reason why I'm filtering like this is because top row gear in terms of supportive type stats are pretty straightforward in my opinion, right? Support stats, you're looking for some kind of combination of like speed, health or defense percentage, accuracy and resistance, right? Those are kind of like the ideal support stats. Um, so when I'm looking at top row, I, I feel like, especially you're looking for a good set with some combination of those stats and you hope that they roll well. So those are pretty straightforward versus top row gear for damage dealers. It is simple. You want crit rate, crit damage, speed, and some kind of a main stat percentage. But I look more closely at this because we can keep uh, potentially broken sets for damage dealers, right? You guys probably know kind of the general idea behind broken sets. I'm going to do an entire video on them in the future, but that's why I'm filtering like this to help guide me and figure out what type and what quality of broken gear an account can keep or not keep, right? So what I'm looking for here is speed crit crit. Um, my account, I have 256. That's a lot. That is a lot of pieces. Um, what I'm primarily looking for is these types of subsets in good damage dealer sets, right? Primarily savage immunity is good. Um, cruel, uh, resilience for health and defense champions, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so let's kind of, let's kind of move down and take a look. So I don't have too much in life offense and defense. They're just, they're not the best sets. Pretty good chunk in speed here. Good to see. Um, barely anything in critical rate. It's not a good set, desperately needs a buff. Oh, and I, how could I forget about crit damage set? Another really good set for speed crit, crit in, very usable, um, accuracy res, lifesteal kind of get, again, kind of drop off a little bit. Fury set I go a little bit easier on because I'm trying to put my clan boss team in it eventually, um, cause I run an unkillable team. Fury is really good for unkillable, so I have a little bit more gear here. Again, kind of broken sets. I don't really keep too many of. Immunity, high value set for these stats, keep a good chunk of them. Um, I like a little bit in shield because sometimes you need like a damage dealer shield set. Relentless can be okay for, for damage stats. And then especially Savage, right? This is our ideal set that we're looking for kind of damage stats like this. Um, and then moving our way down where we don't have too many in those other sets. A good chunk in Cruel, um, Summon Swift Parry, like yeah. Good chunk in Perception is good, Summon Untouchable, so. Now, the reason why I do kind of a, a specific filter like this for the top row is because weapons can't roll defense percentage and shields can't roll attack percentage. So rather than like going it by individual weapon shield, weapon helmet shield, um, I just kind of, I like to look at all three of them and just do this one specific filter kind of helps me a little bit. Um, again, if you're, if you're on an account that doesn't have quite this, uh, array of gear or this much, usually you would probably drop off the crit damage, right? That makes the filter a little bit easier. Um, like I talked about with gloves, right? You need to, you're trying to crit cap somebody and then you want them to be at a specific speed. So these are, this is an easier filter to kind of go by if you're on an account that has lesser quality gear or just less of it. Okay. So that is kind of the, that's the last step for the pre-cleanse gear check. Um, 
after that, I would start gear cleansing. I would just, and I would use that knowledge to kind of base my gear cleansing in. Um, I'll be doing videos in the future going forward, or if you're watching this in the future, hopefully there will be a, uh, a follow-up video to this one to, to kind of get you started on gear cleansing. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Once again, please like, comment, subscribe on this video. Please let me know what you liked about it or didn't. Um, I'm still trying to get you more used to the putting out YouTube content. Um, any constructive criticism will be very helpful. So hopefully I will see you guys on a new video soon talking about gear. Peace.